Right, we're back again, and now we're going to avail your ears and eyes with a bit of highway humbuggery. Highway humbuggery. We should probably pisses off that. you, pisses off me. I like uh, it. Maybe. We need to come up with a proper verse for this. We do. Um, so highway humbuggery is... This is your getting of the goat, this one, isn't it? Well, it's, the, it's these things that when you're driving around, and it, it's like, it's contentious stuff. You know that that we moan about, we have a whinge about, yeah. and stuff like that. And I think that was going to open with the most common one yeah. that tends to have that people tend to become divided on. Yeah, and, and I think also it's worth saying that because you don't, I drive, I have to commute every day, don't I? And you don't yeah. so much. And I think this is good because I think you see stuff. I see it as well, but I just have to sort of shrug. And yeah. I like that it gets your goat it's more. It's become normalised. Yeah, you? I mean yeah. I hate it, but it's yeah. yeah. I do like five thousand miles a year, and, and yeah. but but it's business miles, yeah. and I end up in commuting traffic sometimes, and you, you do see it from the outside in. Um, but it's the lane merge. It's the lane the one merge that everyone gets really het up and wound yeah. up about. And it is that awkward thing with lots of lots of British people in a queue already starting to get a head yeah. up and, yeah. and doing a nervous cough yeah. that they do to themselves before. They have to commit yeah. to what is an act of either a um, passive aggression or blatant yeah. all out aggression. And it is the lane merge. Um, and I thought we'd actually talk about what the law is on this because people tend to be, um, you know, it's what you should do, you should do this, you should do this. Yeah. You know, we're a great culture for doing this, you should do this proper ways, proper ways. Like um, but what is the proper way? And late mergers always argue yeah. um, that they're in the right. Yeah. And obviously people who don't merge late at the last minute um, argue they're in the right. And you've got extreme circumstances where you've got people getting in road rage and fist fights yeah. and touching wing mirrors. And then you've got truckers blocking both lanes to stop yeah. people coming down the, the lane and stuff yeah, like true. that. Um, the highway code is equally divided on this, so to say. Um, because one way is right and many other ways right and it, it really comes down to a very simple thing and that yeah. is speed um, if the traffic is flowing freely yeah um, and a lane merge is approaching then traffic is supposed to merge in a way that doesn't um, reduce the speed the average speed so, so that sort of like as earliest available early as possible possible without causing disruption yeah, sort of thing that's yeah. it so everyone gets across early as possible hence why the motorway you know you get like a three yeah. mile warning before yeah. this happens and stuff not that anyone pays any get attention get across as soon as you can everyone should be moving pretty fast yeah um, however when it comes to a speed at which you can make a safe assumption about the perimeter of your vehicle and yeah. movement of other traffic. Okay. That means basically when you've come to a near standstill or you're just creeping along, yeah. at that point, yeah. you are supposed to merge at the merge. At the latest point. At the basically. latest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that. Because that doesn't have that an effect of essentially. People argue that it shortens the jam, doesn't it? Really, because you're yeah. filling the lanes as full yeah. as possible. We've yeah. seen it before. You know, you go to pull in a roundabout, you want to turn right, and the traffic's queued up left. Yeah. And everyone's sat in the left-hand lane because no one will dare go yeah. up. To, you know, occasionally an Audi goes up the outside yeah. lane, and everyone goes, "Oh my God, the, how dare they!" Um, late mergers, if if the speed is very low, yeah. um, low enough that you know you can you can merge yeah. um, very safely. Yeah, they're in the right, I'm yeah, afraid. Yeah. Um, and that, and I know that goes against British etiquette. I know the British etiquette is to queue, yeah. and you never push in. And I'm a queuer. Yeah. I have to admit, and maybe I'm part of the problem as yeah. a result of that of making queues longer. But I am Mister Gets in the inside lane. Yeah. You want to come in? Come yeah, in. Come on you want to come in? <laughs> come in. I don't care. I don't five thousand miles a year. Yeah. I haven't got you know. I'm relaxed about this. Yeah. About it. Yeah. I think the problem is though. I think that's it. It's it's the combination of the two, isn't it? Because what happens is essentially if you're follow this one because this doesn't kind of almost doesn't make sense in my mind is that you've got people who would merge at the last minute but because they're a lot of the time in a minority everyone else has already got over therefore the outside lane that should really be full of slow moving traffic isn't but because they're in the whole late merge is good merge that's why they always end up seemingly speeding down the outside lane to the very end because they're not being checked by other people doing the same if it was more balanced like you yeah. say you'd never get this 
surge of like scary sort oh, of people doing horrible. like 20 or 30 I miles mean, if you've, if you've moved over and it's really slow moving traffic and you've crept along for five minutes yeah. and then someone sails past yeah. in, you know, some, you know, arrogance machine that yeah. they bought from Germany and then the indicator comes on and yeah. it's even worse when they rely on people napping yeah. at the merge yeah. to get in because yeah. they know that people leave a yeah. big gap they don't care yeah. what's going on or the absolute worst of the worst barge their way in yeah I think this is a thing isn't it like you know when the highway code's saying merge at the last possible yeah. moment that doesn't mean when there is a car's width between the cones on your right and the car on the left it means just before yeah. the cones start to bring you in not you know like you say right down right down right down I cannot fit we you know we can no longer fit two cars side by side so one of us is going to have to choose and seeing as I've just arrogantly sailed up here at 50 miles an hour you're the one that's moving pal yes yeah. i mean there is a fine line between yeah there late is. late merge and sort of you're past the point of you should have rude, yeah, of, yeah. Of being being rude yeah. and we don't tend to get as upset when traffic has to fill both lanes yeah you know sometimes you've got two roads that merge you can't yeah. do anything about it you do get a little bit like joining motorways and stuff yeah. like that and the real problem isn't the late or the early merge it's the zipper yeah. system. Yeah. And zipper means zipper. It's genius. It works. It's just like, just do it. Why don't people understand about the zipper? Like, every, you talk to anyone yeah. and they go, oh, this is the zipper system. Everyone knows about the zipper system. Yeah. Everyone knows that's how you it just works. just can't apply it to the... Yeah, for some reason, for some mad reason, yeah. when we're in this situation, there's always somebody, yeah. either behind you... Yeah or merging into your lane, or in front of you, who refuses to zipper. Yeah, and and you're letting someone in, and then all of a sudden you realise there's a there's a door next to your door. Yeah. And it's, no, you're not going in as well. The idea is you go behind, and then it just, it all, it's... Well, I mean, you don't, you don't stop them, do you? You kind of no, allow it just to happen, sort of like, you kind of feel violated yeah. in terms of decent behaviour. Yeah. And I think, honestly, if, 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 when you see someone let someone because there's always a letting of a merge you know so there is a mergey and a merger yeah yeah and when you see someone let someone in or, or someone forces themselves and then the car behind does the same yeah or if you look in your mirror and you let someone in and then the car behind doesn't let someone in i reckon you could probably solicit votes from most of the other motorists in the area and have that person in front of a shooting you know yeah, squad just shot, you could yeah. have them shot for that because it is it gets people so angry yeah, so yeah. what you end up is is a situation where everyone's nose to nose nudging along yeah and i know of people that's it trying to keep like millimeter <clears throat> gaps yeah I was a friend was telling me the other day that um, actually I know the guy Ginger Rich, you know, hey. cool guy. He um, absolutely lives by the zipper system. Yeah. And if you don't let him zipper, yeah. I mean, he he, he will like, force the zipper. Well, there was a story of him interacting with a caravan, <laughs> much to the shock. I um, imagine of the French um, caravan <laughs> oh, poor. owners in France poor at the French time. Owner. And um, yeah, it was, wow. people will swap paints over yeah. the issue, and you know my thing is usually back down usually but sometimes i mean so some some general tips on this yeah um be kind be decent if you show that you're willing to wait i think 99 out of 100 times the person if you, if you just stop yeah put your indicator on yeah and I'd like to merge, please, but I'm not expecting to merge. Yeah. Most people, are, they're going to give you, they're going to give yeah. you a football pitch yeah. to come across. They're going to be, don't you worry, sir. Don't yeah. you worry, in you come. Yeah, if you indicate just as it's closing yeah. up, but you don't stop, you just yeah. keep rolling with this sort of arrogant sort of. You are going to have to let me in at some point, so you might as well do it now. Yeah. I think that really gets people's yeah. backs up, definitely. Um, if you go to merge and someone tries to stop you from merging, getting into a fight. It's not worth it. Is it, it. really worth it? Yeah. Um, especially if you're merging on the right because you can't see the left or side of your car very clearly. Yeah. If you just stick your indicator on and wait, the person behind will most likely be you come in, sir. Yeah. And then you can take the satisfaction of sitting behind this yeah. idiot who's, you know, for some reason decided that you don't, you shouldn't, yeah. that you can't be decent to another human being. And sitting in front of a person who thinks the yeah. same about that guy as you do, probably. Because they've yeah, gone, exactly. what an arsehole, yeah. I'll let him in instead. Yeah. So you're both in agreement, you're two on one. The guy at the front might not know it, but he's hated by two people. So Yeah, yeah. 
and you know some other tips um i know of truck drivers who they'll put their window down hang their arm out the window yeah. to try and humanize the situation yeah. so they can get in because sometimes you can merge like because you've made a mistake yeah exactly yeah yeah um, you know so like if you're around birmingham or one of those sort of yeah. god awful places to drive and you find out you should like have been yeah. a lane across to go around a yeah. roundabout then yeah. you you know i mean i have to admit i've gone a junction down the motorway yeah. before trying to get in um but People will, you know, see your errors of your yeah. way and hopefully humanise you. The, the least human thing you can do is basically try and ram your car into yeah, people. True. Um, I think it pays forward. Like you pay it forward as well a little bit because I, I see this a lot. There's one particular road that I drive down. It's not merging, but it's junctions, but very slowly. So it's a bit like merging. And what's really interesting with that is if you let someone out, you watch that person, they're going to let someone out at the next junction. It's nice. It's a oh, friendly gesture. When and, it, when and it I goes think, well. Yeah, and I think sometimes... it doesn't happen. Sometimes, you know, yeah. We had a deal. Yeah. We had a I let you out so that you, yeah, so that you can let someone else yeah. in. How can you go... I mean, it amazes yeah. me how someone can go from needing the politeness of a stranger yeah. to immediately to refusing just, decency exactly, to another yeah. stranger. It's just weird. Yeah. Talk about I'm all right, Jack. Yeah, totally. And I think most of the time, it's quite nice to see that. And I think, again, like some people actively dislike that I think because I think that's why they don't let anyone in because they think well I'm late for work if I let this person in he'll he'll let another person in that person and yeah. we're just we're going backwards we're going it's yeah. like, no it's just the community of drivers are all getting to work that's yeah. look at it like that like we're all in a snake and it's all going to get there in the end yeah. we're like, a society we are a society yeah. Which is, I think we mentioned it before Your on the podcast. problems aren't more yeah. important than someone else's Yeah, problems. you don't need to get to work any um, quicker or any more, any more than important. I do. Yeah. Sorry. Really. If you were important, then you wouldn't be stuck in traffic. Yes, very true. Yeah. On an helicopter yeah, exactly. You'd have some Sorry. other magic way of getting to work. So we're all equal. So let's equal. just let Zipper, yeah. let's forgive those who want to merge late. Zipper let's and Zen. Appreciate those that merge. Zipper in Zen. Zipper in Zen. Zen. Zippering. Yeah, Zen zippering. Yeah. yeah, we've invented that. Now. And let's have a chilled summer. Okay? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Chilled summer. How about that? Thank you. Right, we'll we'll wrap up and yeah, yeah, do on. another thing. The future.